We are having such an amazing time leading Celebrating Sexuality and Spirituality course. And there are scenes we want to share what has been coming up for people and for us as we are doing that. What we're finding is that um, it's become a forum for people to be able to speak about their sexual experiences and their um, spiritual experiences in ways that they never have before. They've kept it secret or felt like it wasn't appropriate or had shame or guilt that had them hold back from speaking like that. And it's just so freeing for people and for us too to be in the middle of this just a beautiful opportunity for us to talk about ourselves as sexual and spiritual beings. Yeah, like like I will hear, I talk about something and then um, someone from of participants will be like, oh my God, I never heard this kind of statement from a woman. I didn't think that it's okay to talk about these things. That like when people paired up and they talk about such vulnerable stuff like self-pleasure. Mm -hmm. It's not something like a lot of people just never talk about it. And here we create this like anything, you know, all taboos, everything. It's all welcome here. And it shakes something so deeply, even in us. Mm. I hear about Peter stuff <laughs> that I never heard before. And it's just something very vulnerable, very personal. But there is this environment that we just like open up and just share, just oh, so good. And what's so beautiful is to watch both single people um, get freed up so that the, as they go into the world, they can talk to their friends or if they meet somebody, they're talking more honestly about their sexuality. And couples find that they're talking about things. They've been together for 20 years and they've never talked about yeah. particular aspects of their sexuality or never really let their partner know what turns them on because they hold back. And all of a sudden, the floodgates open up and people are celebrating. And like the title of the class, they're celebrating their sexuality and spirituality rather than kind of tentatively coming out a little bit here and there yeah like with desires it's something that um, a lot of times desires for sex they're built from our childhood whatever traumas whatever we had our experiences in childhood they're a lot of times tied to what we really want in sex and a lot of times it's something that we feel shameful that we feel like it's not okay and that's something like when we open this up that people can explore deeply and just really come out of like what I really want. It's fascinating to, to, um, to um, we've explored like masculine and feminine and each time we've taught it there's been a whole different flavor to that discussion and as we go along and the society is evolving around masculine and feminine, the class is evolving around that. And we're discovering that there are so many stereotypes we have about masculine and feminine connected to man and woman that aren't necessarily true. So all kinds of different qualities are being attributed to men and women uh, and given credit for rather than thinking, oh, that's I'm a man, I shouldn't experience that, or I'm a woman, I shouldn't, that we're all human beings with different uh, qualities that come forward that are even that they're labeled masculine and feminine can be in question you know oh my god and <laughs> then there is this moment of like how is it possible like to have spirituality and sexuality together and then there is part that I personally love so much the worshiping of genitals that how, like, as I was growing up, it's like, don't look there, don't name it. It's like, mm. and now we enter this place of like, wow, like there are religions that have um, like Shiva Lingam, you know, like the phallus and uh, yoni around and that, that they uh, really put flowers and worship it. And so just having that experience of deeply, like feeling that appreciation and deep admiration of this pleasure center, which is genitals, just creates such breakthroughs around sexuality. And the other thing we're discovering is how um, oftentimes people are so confused about spirituality and they, they, what is it? And is it religion? Is it what's God and all kinds of things? And what's so beautiful is people now get to feel free to speak about what's spiritual to them 
rather than what they were trained and the different experiences they've had. And as one person opens up and speaks about their, what they call a spiritual experience, the other person goes, wow, I never thought of that as spiritual. So it's an enriching quality around just um, embracing all the different ways that people experience spirituality that they wouldn't have even defined it that way before. This reminds me <laughs> that how... Um, like we are discussing a topic and different people have different ideas and we we are not saying like this is how it is that doesn't exist we bring it on the table and we welcome different opinions different walks of life just express what it is for you and and bring in to everyone's experience bring in i love how you do it peter just bring in that being like so tender and so human and so feeling for that person's experience and that just again that so beautiful to just watch and to be part of it mm -hmm. And, and as the weeks go on, the, the community bonding is incredible. People oh. get so excited to come to class. And each week, they're, you, that people have a buddy that they're checking in with during the week. And you have different buddies during it. So there's all kinds of weaving of different experiences with each other. So it's just so bonding to be on Zoom and look and say, oh, I, that person touched me this way and that person touched me that way. And there's just such a beautiful um, bonding that happens Then people just are celebrating each other and empowering each other and loving each other because of the realness that's going on yeah and what I love about this course that I can I get to join again and again and again and every time it's dif it's mm -hmm. different it's yep. like we have the themes like every week we have uh, a dedicated theme that we explore but with every group with just us every time it's so different and it's fascinating to explore it again and again and to grow through that and and the other part of that is that um we're not sitting there like teachers up on a pedestal lecturing down to people we're participating too i've said things in that class i've never said to my wife you know i hadn't even known i hadn't said it to my wife until it all came out in the class so there's a very uh, equal playing field in which we're all contributing and different in different ways and different flavors and it's so empowering for people to not sit with thinking we have the answers each person has their own experience that when they bring it forward they are the teacher in that moment and because it's online every person is in their home environment they feel safe and we keep hearing from people that being like there is an extra sense of safety you might be thinking is it for me or not for me um, the way to check it out, we have free introductions. Every time before we lead a course, we have a couple of introductions that you just join for one hour and a half for free and we give you a taste, a flavor, and you can just really feel into it and decide, okay, I am coming or it's not my thing.